we are talking about ghost stories. Jasmine just told me over the break that she has one. Do share. <laughs> I have a few, but there's one, one sort of in the front of my mind that I love to share with you. I was living in a giant character house. This is back in Ontario where I'm from. I had heard that the house was haunted. There's a number of people that were living in this large house. I didn't really believe it, even though I love this sort of thing. And I would, I was always saying, oh, bring it on, bring it on. I can handle it. I would love to see a ghost. Let me see. On. And then uh, one day I was waiting for someone to come over and I was sitting in the kitchen and I was just sort of staring off blankly. You know how you do that. Sometimes you're just sort of deep in thought and you're just staring off at nothing. And then all of a sudden I realized oh, I'm staring at a ghost literally looking into the eyes of a man and he was staring directly into me i don't know how all of a sudden he appeared it just became like vibrationally aligned where we could see each other he had hair down to his chin and a white billowing sleeved blouse with a black vest and brown pants tucked into really high boots and I literally froze. And like I said, I've been seeing things my whole life. But when you're face to face with a ghost looking at you, it totally freaked me out. I, I literally froze. And then I ran past that spot. And I couldn't let that person into my house. I like cowered in my room. But the weirder part is that almost every night before I fell asleep, like in that in-between state, I was hearing something whisper outside of my mind, whispering to my ear, behind the wall, behind the wall, behind the wall, behind the wall. It was the scariest thing ever. So that was going on for months that I would hear that behind the wall repeatedly as I was falling asleep to the point where I had to tune it out. And then after I moved out, six months later, I realized that behind the wall was a Turkish war tunic. And I just got shivers. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that it was connected because on Ontario, like that type of dress just doesn't make sense. You know, it's native land and I don't know, it doesn't even seem like British or anything, like the whole look of the person. Anyway, that war tunic was taken from a battleground by the house owner's great-grandfather, and I, I think that it was connected for sure. So that was one of the first times that I actually saw a ghost. Ghosts. 